Hello and welcome back to the channel, y'all. My name is Bodie, and um, I'm the host, creator, everything. Uh, so, um, you should have just seen right there, Dino Joe with his wild thing making another run uh, after he attempted to get it dialed in a little bit better. Um, Jeremy, if you're out there and you have yours getting dialed in, and, and running better, doing a better run, send it to me. Uh, hit me up. I'd like to see it. Um, but clearly, Joe's is running better in this video. This was sent to me by Garrett. And um, it is actually Joe has tuned his in. And he is currently in this video running 25% nitro. And he Garrett labeled it 25% nitro propane. I'm not sure what's going on with the the propane, the idea, uh, maybe, maybe spell check got him on that, but, um, uh, it's clearly running better, and the purpose for this video is, or, well, it's just, it's all in fun, it's all in fun, but, uh, specifically, I already had somebody saying that Dino Joe's was the fastest one at the event, was, in fact, the fastest one in the event, um, but he just needed to tune it. And well, I mean, I get that. I mean, I, it has sounded phenomenal and, um, uh, and I get it. You like Joe. He's a good person to like. He's a good builder, everything. So it's all fantastic and it's all good and gravy here. Um, but, uh, but, but, you know, let's just see, let's check out the video right here and see if his tuned up on 25% nitro propane some other alternative fuel, a hotter fuel. Let's see if his can beat my wild thing on the nitrous. <laughs> Okay, so I think the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> and as of right now, I most definitely still have the world's fastest wild thing. And am I going to milk that cow for an entire year? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. I am going to milk that cow. Oh. So nice, so nice to be able to say that I've got the world's fastest wild thing, right? And now, next year, it very well could be a different story. Um, it definitely is going to be a different story if I just sit on my butt and don't do anything else. Um, I am definitely going to have to do something else to that saw um, and to, to, to hopefully make it faster, considerably faster. Uh, but... Um, I've got a whole year to do that, and that's fantastic. That's exactly where I want to be. Um, will I take it apart and port it again? Do do some more serious port work? Possibly. Will I run nitrous again? Possibly. Will I pipe it up? Possibly. I don't know. Um, but um, but I definitely want to play with it some more. I really like that saw. Um, and I think this... And I think what we saw with um, with Joe and uh, Bellhopper, and possibly even a little bit of uh, um, Brennan, um, what we saw was a classic case of don't go too far with these saws, because <laughs> because they already don't run the best, um, and so I. I just did what I did completely assuming that I was going to get blown away. But but in hindsight, looking at it and what it accomplished by doing what I did was I built a good, reliable saw. And that's it. You know, that I didn't do anything special. Then I added the nitrous. And that combination worked for me. But the most important thing was the fact that it was reliable because... You get doing crazy stuff with these things, and they don't run, you know? 
Some of them, man. Well, bellhoppers. It was I remember bellhoppers uh, and chads. Chad, I think he fried the piston right there on the starting line kind of thing, you know. Um, but, you know, you get really crazy and wild. Oh, Charlie. His, his was running good, the one that uh, Doug was running, Indiana Doug. Um, that was a nice, good, strong saw in the videos. But then, you know, you get it to the race, and it's like, bleh. And it's because it, it had lost all compression. So anyways, and Joe's, Joe's, he only had like 120 pounds of compression. It was nothing. I pulled that thing. It was just like, I would have guessed it had 100 pounds of compression. There was nothing there, right? If Joe had had an extra day, yeah, he probably would have beat me, you know? But, um, uh, Eric's ran really, really strong. But uh, the plain out fact of the matter is the competition was held and I beat everybody's ass. So, <laughs> next year, I hope, well, don't, uh, don't mistake this. I hope to win again, of course. But I am okay if I get just completely embarrassed. It's okay. It's okay. This is all out of fun and enjoyment. And I would love to get some, you know, get called out <laughs> and have to race people and stuff like that and prove that mine's the fastest, you know. And then I'd go back and I'd do some more whenever I get beat, you know what I mean? And I'd do some more tweaking and, and go. Because that's a really fun saw to work with. And it's really easy to work on, you know. It just... It just comes right out. You just unbolt it. It just comes out. <laughs> so it's really easy to work on, and it's fun to mess with and everything. <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, I, I really look forward to next year on that. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad that they're keeping the uh, – it seems to be uh, – I've heard some stuff that they're going to keep the Wild Thing class. I like that because um, – Oh, the wild thing is, it has staying power, right? Next year's cheap saw challenge is the um, steel MS-170. And, you know, that right there has uh, fans and stuff, you know, but that's a hit it and quit it deal. Just run it for one year and then don't bring it back the next year because... It's an MS-170, you know. Um, now, it'll be fun to mess with, too, and everything, but the wild thing, it's just, I'm with you, Doug. Um, Doug probably has, it's probably a 50-50 mixture of he genuinely likes them, and he is genuinely just, like, loves to poke fun of them. Uh, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I'm with you. There's just something about them. It's like, they're like a gold tooth, you know? Too many of them, and it looks stupid. But just one, ding, it's cool. <laughs> so the little wild thing, I hope it stick, sticks around, and they do it every year. That's what I hope. Um, plus, there's enough of them. You can get them. Uh, you can get them cheap still, even though it's like, oh man, you've tripled the price of the wild thing. Well, guess what? It's still only 60 bucks. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you, you can still get them cheap. And, um, and I liked it. It was fun to do. It's really fun to do. And it's going to be really fun as long as people can play with respect and fun. Uh, and I have nothing. I mean, I'm all for, running your mouth and being like, oh, yeah, yeah, mine's going to tear it up. Mine's going to tear it up. But within respectful boundaries, you know, like Joe is a great builder. Eric is a good builder. I mean, he, I, he's probably great, you know. Bell Hopper, we all know he's a great builder. So it would be a real douchebag move of me to be like, yeah, they suck. They couldn't get their, their crap together and they ain't nothing. 
totally different from me going, yeah, <laughs> you know, I put it to you or something. You just got to know how to balance that. Those guys, everybody was good, you know. And and even if you, even if you sucked at it and it was your first time, who cares? It's chainsaws. It's fun. That's it. Well, for a lot of people, they're actually their meal ticket. And it's how they put bread on the table, uh, bacon on the table, meat on the table, something, soy. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, regardless of what y'all might think, on that day, Dino Joe did not have the fastest wild thing. <laughs> this guy did. <laughs> But then there's next year. <laughs> and it, I'll probably get the floor mopped with me. I, and that's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> See ya.